Hello, my beautiful and sassy, incisive, empathetic, biosphere-loving friends. Welcome back to Alien Protocols. So, a couple episodes ago, I was talking about the wild and goofy, yet mildly interesting notion of taking a craft and have all the elementary particles line up at the lowest quantum state, have the, all of them, the material be identical-ish, see all those separate little molecules, but then you put them together and have them at the lowest quantum state, probably have to be very cold. Oftentimes UFOs do register very cold, don't they, on those military infrared FLIR cameras, don't they? It's kind of interesting. Anyway, so you bring them all down to the lowest quantum state, and the group becomes coherent. Now, there is a lot about cohesive and coherent groups and some wonderful statistical stuff about psi, but this is about UFOs. So they all become coherent. All these little dudes... When lined up and everything is all good to go, all their spin oars and spins and everything is all the same fashion, they become one giant particle. So the whole system, all of them, take on the qualities that were only available to the little individuals. Now it's available in a macro size. Okay, so... Once they become coherent, right, it acts as one macroscopically displaying quantum mechanical properties like um, wave function interference. Okay? Now, uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Like perhaps you couldn't you took a UFO and made it that way. Perhaps you you could identify its speed, but not its location, or its location and maybe not its speed. Is that applicable? Perhaps and this would be really cool. Is if it had a wave-particle duality in some circumstances, wouldn't that be pretty cool? Like if it went through a, a certain hole or a tunnel, we wouldn't know if it would come out here, there, or over there, no matter what our physics would tell us it should do. Or if it made a sharp turn, we, we would think it should physically be over there because of the angle of the turn and the speed. No, we couldn't figure it out, perhaps. Is that, is that inconceivable? <laughs> well, let's say it is for a second and go a little step further, just for Yahoo doo doo doos. <laughs> okay, there is something called quantum tunneling. And let's say it's like this, okay? You have a little like cup thing here, all right? And let's say you have one little quanta right here. And let's say it's got a little motion on it or whatever. Someone's imparted a little bit of speed and momentum and velocity on it so it can bounce around in between your ding, 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 ding. Well, that's the theory it should do that but because it's a quantum object it has some extra little goofy stuff it can do although the the wave function is most likely that it would just bounce around here and behave kind of like we would expect but down here in terms of the probabilities this wave function basically means it's a chances chances of it doing this chances of it doing that chances of, the different chances of it doing stuff and down here at the end of the lowest possibilities are the chance that this little quantum particle will actually go through the wall and come out the other side. That is a real chance. And quantum tunneling is real and a lot of technology depends on it. In fact, I, I would presume that the sun and suns in general would depend on that and so would many, even biological functions. And the ability <coughs> For subatomic particles to tunnel. <clears throat> now, if you had your little UFO, let's see. Oh, here's our UFO. Let's take a little UFO on here. Okay, 
here's a UFO, and here's Earth, okay? I wonder, I like how it's kind of like a tic tac. I wonder if it could tunnel. Um, I wonder if it could tunnel through the Earth. You see what I mean? If we could make it just tunnel through the Earth. I wonder. Let's even look at another one of those wacky, wacky subatomic possibilities. Let's say you take another Tic Tac, all right? And you hide it in some little thing. And let's make sure that little thing, that hidden space, is somewhere kind of fairly near Earth. So you, the desired effect you might want to do to this or look at it even would be close enough so that a speed of light could transmit a usable signal. So it wouldn't be too far away. But it would have a lot of space to move inside here. Okay, so these two, let's say they're entangled. Before we put this guy over here, we got them together, we had them both harmonized, and the two take on this entanglement quality, which is different than the coherence. What happens with the entanglement quality is if you do something to this guy, the other guy will suddenly do basically like the opposite. Okay? So let's signal, send a signal over here, and, you look up, and say, I need you to move left, right, back, or forward. The opposite direction of where you want this guy to, to move. Okay, you dig what I'm saying now? And then it would make this guy move in the direction you want it to. And the really fucking cool thing, or freaking cool thing about it is, is it's faster than the speed of light. I think the movement would be faster than the speed of light. And you know what else would be faster than the speed of light? This tunneling effect. It could go through the earth faster than the speed of light. Now, there is another possibility. I wonder if Earth's atmosphere would count as matter, would count as a wall, or you could make it count as a wall. And so you could count through the atmosphere. I mean, you would be traveling they say tunneling is faster than the speed of light, but they say it also has a defined speed, so it's not instantaneous. It's not as fast as entanglement. Is this too weird? Did I lose everybody right here? I think the way to do the old um, tunneling is you might sprinkle across the surface of your metamaterial a certain radioactive element that might be helpful. It's actually an isotope. Anywho, gang, any other quantum effects? Any forms of weirdness or uncertainty? Or any other goofy ways to construct a UFO power propulsion system? I don't know if you guys remember, like three years ago, I spoke about negative mass, which is a really wacky kind of cool notion. You could have an uh, entropy propulsion engine, too, perhaps. Idea is kind of wacky, but anywho, what do you guys think? Maybe I should put smoke weed before watching this episode. I love you guys. I hope no kids were watching this. <laughs>